All right, welcome back. In this video, we're going to continue off a previous video, which was how to make a simple text box pop up, you know, with the text bubble, and you can show a message and click it. The problem here is, is this shows one message. I click, it's gone. What I want to do is I want to have it so it cycles through a series of messages, you know, like you're telling a story, a character has a lot to say. So here we go. I'm going to use lists to do this. Um, so if you don't know lists, uh, maybe you'll pick it up, maybe not. You should go to one of my other videos, learn some lists. So here we go. My, my way to do this is I'd like to give the text box a list. And I want this list to basically be a list that contains, you know, slot 0 will be message 1. Slot 1 is going to have the second message. Slot 3 will have the next part of the message, etc. When my text bubble pops up the first time, I want to show the first item in the list. And then every time they click, I'm basically going to delete that item out of the list and just move on to the next item. And if I've hit the last item, there's nothing left in the list. I just delete the text box bubble because then it's all done. So here we go. I'm still going to have this text variable here okay, to represent what I'm drawing out. And then I have this variable text list. This is actually going to eventually store the ID of a list okay, of messages. So let's go here, text list. And I just put it to zero to start. Now let's get out of here. Let's go to the player and see how the player is going to kick this one in. So player hits the T key. Before we had it just saying this message. Now I'm not going to do that anymore. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to make the text box. I'm going to quickly make a list here. And you could do this anywhere in your program that you want. So let's just do this. Let's say uh, my list. My list. DS list create. Whoops, I just missed there. DS list create. I've got myself a list. Now that's one way to make a list. When we want to actually add to the list, we can go DS list add. You name your list, my list. And the fastest way is just to put your things here like, hello there. And then the next one will be like, why have you come? And the next one will be like, go away now. So those will be three items added to the list. The list will have slot 0, slot 1, and slot 2 with those three separate messages. Okay. Now the key here is, is I need to tell my text bubble object that I just made right up here. You have to give it knowledge of this list. Well, it's good because remember what we did earlier is we gave this list, or the text box, in its create method, we gave it this variable called text list. So let's use that. Hey, TID. Remember, that's the text box you just made. Set your text list variable equal to my list. Okay, so now it points to it too. So now that we have this text box made, and it now knows about this list, right? It has a little link to it. I can go to my text box and let's get the text box to actually start using the list, right? So remember, when the list was created, these were the default values. Then immediately after, text list was set, you know, to reference this list, right, that has our words. Now, what I have to do is, I, since, since this takes place before, because this is the create event, since it takes place before I actually told it about text list, I actually have to do this one step later. So what I'm going to do is a little trick here is I'm going to put alarm 1 or sorry alarm 0 to 1. So it's going to happen on the very next step. So there's a tiny 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 little delay here. So let's see, let's check it out. Let's go to alarm 1 or alarm 0 the code and all I want to do here is I want to basically set my text to the very first item. So I want to say, hey, text variable. Because remember, text is what I'm actually drawing out in the bubble at the moment. Hey, text, set yourself equal to DS list. Find the value. And its list was called text list, right? It's its own little list variable now. So text list. And I want 
index position zero. Remember with lists that the first slot is zero. And that's really it. Now, I also want to delete this out of the list after. So DS list delete slot zero. That way, this one gets removed from the list. All the other items will slide up, right? Because that's how lists work. Oops, I didn't name my list. Text list. They all slide up, and it's all going to be good. And so let's just try this one and see if we get this behavior of seeing the first message in the list. I hit the T. Uh, oh, this error, text list, my list. Oh, I think I've got a capitalization error. Just to show you this happens. So player T key. Let's make this capital like it should be. My list, my list, my list, my list. Perfect. All right, now let's test her out. And I hit T. And there's hello there. Now it's still coded when I click it to destroy. Okay, so that's not good. Let's now just add this last little line of code that when I click it, it moves on to the next one. So let's go to the text bubble, text box, left pressed. I don't want to instance destroy right away. Okay, let's save that one. What I want to do is I want to see, um, see or grab if I have any more items. So let's just do this one here. Let's grab the next one. Let's say text equals, let's just check the size. If DS list size of text list is greater than zero. So if we have something in there, then text should equal DS list find value text list zero. So I grab the first thing in the list out and then I remove it. DS list delete text list zero. And if there wasn't anything left in my list, so if the size wasn't bigger than zero, then I know I'm out of messages. The mouse press should delete the text bubble. And there you go. If this is all spelled correctly and no errors, what we should have is a nice little cycling text message bubble with our three, four messages. And here we go. I hit T. I get the bubble. I click. It moves on to the next one moves on to the next one and now the list should be empty so this click should destroy perfect all right that was part two of the text speech bubbles in the next video for this what we're going to do is add that typing effect where instead of the entire line being there it's going to type it out you can choose the speed choose the sound it'll look really cool uh, we'll see in that one